welcome back welcome to lcs tv plus and today i'm going to teach you how to use uniswap integrated with the crypto wallet built in the brave browser so if you don't know what a crypto wallet is it's pretty much metamask integrated with the brave browser which makes it convenient for application uses dealing with cryptocurrency first thing you want to do is make sure you connect to a virtual private network which is known as a vpn and what you want to do is go to your grid here in the right hand corner of your browser go down to crypto wallet and then it should pop up the interface looking like this and what you do is hit this grid tab and then you're going to go to account details so just uh from looking at this this is your crypto wallet name you can edit it name it whatever you like and then once you come down here this is a qr code for your public recipient address so this is where if you have a, a phone or a tablet and you don't want to copy and paste keep sending it back and forth from different devices you can just use if it allow a camera scan of when you're about to send your tokens out you scan this with your phone or tablet and then it'll automatically fill this address in onto your devices and you can just click uh, confirm and then send it on this way simple as that it makes makes things so much easier when you just scan and go and also when you come down here this is your public recipient address and um, I don't usually like doing this where you got to highlight through because you may miss something. So what I like to do, uh, a shortcut strategy is exit out here and then you can just click this right here where it says copy to clipboard. You can just click that and it's it already copied the um, public address so you don't want to make sure that you missed uh, a letter out or a number out. So uh, yeah, anytime you just want to access the, your simple address to send any tokens to the, this particular wallet you just hit this and then it copy and then um, that's pretty much it for this you know for the wallet functionality uh, once you choose ethereum you see this is your like activity log here where it shows your activity and you can always scroll down to view more whenever you want a more description of your activity log and then you can actually click this for more uh, details on your uh, activity log. Also, you can go to Etherscan, which is like an Ethereum database dictionary, where you want to make sure uh, it shows like the transaction details, it tell you the status, the block number, um, where you send, you know, where it's coming from, and to which um, wallet address, as you see here. And that's pretty much it. Uh, but you're going to definitely use Etherscan. This is like a dictionary for ERC20 tokens or any Ethereum based tokens. So, like for example, uh, when I did Engine, for you, sometimes some tokens don't have a verification mark just yet because it usually be a new project. But you just want to make sure you go to their source or business page to make sure that the contract number or the address is the same so this is engine token and then this i can just copy the contract right here and just a quick demonstration to show you so if i ever want to just hide this and i don't want it to show in my wallet i can just exit that now you don't see engine no more now if i want to add the token i can just hit add token and then go to custom token and then paste the contract in here and as you see, it'll autom the algorithm automatically figure which contract that it is on the Ethereum blockchain. So it so it says ENJ, so that's engine ticker, and then you hit next. And then as you see, it's popped up my balance of engine, so I can just hit add tokens, and then it's added to my wallet. And I go back, and you see it in the bottom here. So you can do that to uh, any ERC twenty tokens that that's not listed on here. So you can just the same step and process for adding any type of ERC20 token, you can just do that. And um, that's always a helpful tip for uh, consumers and people who want to know how to add contracts, ERC20 contracts to your wallet. And like I said, what we learned so far is the shortcut clipboard and you can add uh, your custom token in here with the con uh coming from the contract from etherscan which is uh highly trusted because it's made by ethereum and um that's pretty much it and what we're going to do is 
I'm going to do like a reverse place, but I'm going to show you the same setup. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to choose my engine token that has a balance on it. So this only works if any token has a balance. So the token have to have a balance in order to convert it to a different balance on a different token. So I'm going to convert the engine back to Ethereum here. So what I do is hit max. And as you see, it'll, it'll do like a preview receipt of everything. So what I have to do is I have to approve engine. And what it what this does is the algorithm is going to approve engine for me to swap it out back to Ethereum. So I just hit approve. And then it's going to pop up your crypto wallet notification. And you have to do a permission based confirmation every time. So it'll tell me that this transaction fee would be 91 cents. So I can hit confirm. And as it's approving, you see at the top, the right top here, it'll say uh, one pending. And as you see, it's going to approve engine. And as, as that's doing that, uh, I'm going to show you this. Uh, so when you launch the Uniswap, once you launch the Uniswap application here, uh, you just want to make sure you verify uh, which uh, recipient address is connected. So like I said, with that shortcut that we copied, you can see 0xf67f and then the last digit uh, 8ce6. So that's the same thing right here that is connected. So that tells us that um, our wallet is connected to Uniswap for, you know, for Uniswap to deposit your token onto the wallet. So if you ever want to change the wallet, let's say you have a secondary wallet, you can just hit this change and then you can switch, switch it to a different uh, MetaMask type wallet. And that's pretty much it. So looking at it now, it approved um for me to swap it so now i'm just going to hit swap and then hit confirm swap and this shows like a confirmation swap receipt before you actually uh confirm it then i'm going to hit that then like i said you're going to do another uh permission confirmation so right here it's, it's telling me that gas fees or the gas fee on this one is three dollars and four cents and total uh three dollars and four cents so i just hit okay it's submitted now we just gotta wait for it to uh swap it out should be pretty fast and not a lot just know that if you have a larger proportion balance or a large capital balance that you want to swap out it may take longer than usual but since i'm using uh 74 engine and engine don't really cost that much uh, it shouldn't take that long, probably like a good to three to five minutes. There you go. So it's fully swapped it out. Now I can do is just go back to my crypto wallet here. And then as you scroll down, I don't have nothing in the engine wallet right here. And everything is back on Ethereum. So that's how you use uh, Uniswap interface with the built-in crypto wallet within uh, Brave Browser. And let me know if this uh, helps helps you a lot. And I know this is probably something that's difficult for the space for people who are just entering in cryptocurrency. But just leave me a like and a subscribe and leave any uh, comments in the section below if you want me to do any other type of video. And I'll catch you all on the next one. This is Oliver. I'm signing out.